there's more stickers. Hello, what's good? It's Justine, also known as Just Sold Out. Back here today with another cider haul. We're back here today with a cider haul. A cider haul. <laughs> cider clothes. Mm. I got some new pieces. I was really happy with everything. I was really happy with my first cider purchase. Everything fit really well and even though I had bought so many things specifically for my vacation, I decided that I wanted to get some new summer styles all ready for the new season. Okay, let's get started. And then once and for all we can decide is cider worth it. Okay, let's try them on. Okay, so first off, we have this super cute dress. Cider defines this dress as a solid bow knot corset midi dress. I have to say, I love the way the top silhouette fits. It feels like there's enough room for the girls as well as a nice little cinching that doesn't feel like it's obstructing or constricting. I have to say, I love the way that this dress fits. I feel like there's enough room for the girls. And then I also like that the waist is a little cinched on the top and then kind of flares out on the bottom on the spot where no one really wants anyone to see or spotlight. I think one thing I really like about Cider is they always have these little slits in all of their dresses, but it's not too high and it feels kind of just almost elegant, sort of, but enough to just let a nice cool breeze right through. I feel like that's one of the big differentiators about cider is that they do have this little slit so it can look a little sexy, a little casual, a little however you want it to look. You do have to tie the sleeves, which I kind of like because you can make it a little girly, a little romantic looking and have the bow just be extra long. You could throw it behind your shoulders or you can keep it all kind of dangling on the sides. I feel like both look really great. The back just zips up, very simple. Overall, I wanted like a nice long midi summer dress. So I thought that this would be perfect and so far it is. So I got this dress in a size small and it was $26. Overall, I would say this dress is worth it. I love how it came out. I like how it sits on my body. I feel like the price is generally worth what you are paying for. The top part is also double lined, so I feel like that's also why I'm leaning towards loving this. Worth it, worth it, worth it. On to dress number two. So I got this little piece. This is probably the only thing in this package that I didn't really like and was kind of upset about. I'm gonna call this the Instagram dress of the summer just because I keep getting ads for this basic silhouette. Essentially, it's a corset top and it kind of flares out into almost like a tutu ballerina kind of thing. Either way, it flares out into ruffles. So I feel like this dress could have used actual boob cups. It doesn't have anything other than wiring in the very cleavage section. I feel like if it just had that, it would have given this dress a lot more body. Similarly, this is not a stretchy material whatsoever. I just know that I've had this material, this sheer material material before and I've ripped it multiple times and then it looks like there's just one liner on the inside so it's not very stretchy and honestly it looks cute only because it's baggy but it also doesn't look right because it's baggy I kind of show you that if it was really tight it would look super good but what are you gonna do so this is called the tie-dye layered corset dress. This only costs $18 and you know, I feel like it's $18. Overall, I don't think I'm gonna wear this. I might try to return it or resell it, but I look kind of like a fairy in an unfitting dress. I think I could have made this work for a really dope outfit, but now we'll never know because it just doesn't fit right. I kind of wonder if the extra small might have fit better, but kind of don't think so because of the quality. So this item, not worth it. So now the rest are going to be matching sets. Super excited. I got a few different ones of different styles and variations. So the first set is something a little pink. I wanted just like a cute little pink double set because it just, I don't know, goes really well with my hair color and 
I know that I look good in pink, I think because of my skin tone. So just wanted to pick up at least one pink outfit for the summer. So this is called the Lady in Pink Blazer. And then I got the matching Lady in Pink shorts. So the shorts I got for $24 and the blazer was $28. I'm still not sure I'm 100% in love with this outfit. You can definitely tell the shorts are a little bit more on the cheaper side just by the way that they kind of rise up. Even though I got this in a small, it is a little bit tight and not forgiving whatsoever. I feel like this is an outfit I'm going to wear on a skinny day specifically. I do feel like if you pair it with a t-shirt, then no one will really see any of the fat overages, but you could also conversely change it up and pair it with a cute little bralette or crop top. Lady in pink, worth it? Uh, I would say worth it just because it was on the cheaper side and something like this at Zara would not be priced at 28 and 24 whatsoever. So I'd say worth it. I'm actually more interested to see how many wears I can get out of this and what I can really style this outfit with. Moving on, got a little landscape painting. So I bought this landscape painting top as well as its matching skirt. I really like how the skirt has these kind of like ruffles on the side just to kind of cinch it and overall it kind of just hides the bottom part of your stomach which is super perfect. The top also doesn't have like any boob cups which I feel like you, it's lacking a little bit and would have been great to have but even still without those boob cups it's still a very cute top. This set is probably my favorite out of all of the things I purchased from Cider. The other set that I included in my last haul was that mermaid set, very similar to this in that it was a midi skirt and a really cute halter top. I thought because that worked out so well and that was one of my favorite outfits on vacation that I should go again with something very similar but a little different. And boom, new favorite set. So both landscape painting pieces, both cost $18 each. I just feel like that's such a steal for a really cute matching set. I know 100% I'll be wearing this in the summer on those dog days of summer, on super duper hot days just because it, this is very minimal. It's basically a little piece of fabric just covering your body. Next up, very on trend, I got these cute trousers. It also came with a matching crop top. These trousers are called the Solid Stitch Straight Leg Trousers, and they are very straight cut. I would say even on the top where it's kind of sitting on your hips, a little bit more on the straight cut side, a little bit tight. And then on the bottom, it does really flare out, but you can definitely tell it is a straight cut. Love this super cute crop top. It's just really plain. There isn't too much going on to it, so I think that's why I like it. This set comes in multiple colors. Go ahead and check it out. I just really needed a blue set. I just have been lacking one and really have been wanting one. Might have to do with the sneakers that I purchased recently. I've been trying to find something for those Pata Air Max, the blue ones, and I think this is going to be the fit that goes perfectly with it. So the trousers were $32, a little bit more expensive than some of the other bottoms that I've gotten. And then this little crop top was $18. Was it worth it? Yeah, I would say this is pretty much worth it. You do kind of get what you pay for in that this isn't like a premium high quality material, but it's also not the cheapest material you'll find ever available. So it is like a good middle ground. I'd say like the price in between Zara, in between Forever 21. So I feel like overall worth it. And then the last and final set. I got one more midi skirt, and then I also got this like, well, it's really hard to show you without putting it on. I also got a cute little matching top to go with it. So this is the solid cross wrap, and then it also pairs with the solid ruched slit midi skirt. Again, I love that Cider has these little slits on their skirts, on their dresses, adds a little bit of a sexy appeal. This outfit was slightly disappointing though. I think I didn't do my due diligence and I didn't realize the top was going to be a big tie on thing. Generally, I'm not the biggest fan of tie and wrap tops just because they usually don't have any form or shape to it. Sometimes it makes me feel like someone could just whoop 
and take it all off and I'll be literally topless in the middle of a restaurant or something. That's just some silly fear that I have. I don't actually have that fear happening, but I think because there's no construction, it doesn't really feel like there's anything holding you together. And I think in general, I'm just super used to that, super used to wearing a bra and all of that. So was just a little disappointed when this top came, but I think the set is really cute. I like that I can probably wear this to dinner and then get away with going out at night with it. So I do appreciate that dual usage. The front tank was $22 and then the skirt was $24. Worth it? I would say no. In addition, I got an insane amount of Instagram ads just following me and pushing this literally every chance they got. And then finally I gave in because I also wanted a bunch of other things too. This also comes in multiple colors. I just chose the green because I really wanted something green for the summer. And I thought that this would be a nice little green hue. I hope you guys enjoyed the cider haul. Thank you so much for joining me. Also, don't forget that every cider package comes with stickers. Thank you.